All right, just before 6 o'clock and a historic day ahead as we count down to the total solar eclipse today. Good morning. I'm Kelly Rippin. We have been waiting for this day for so long. I'm Tiffany Wilson. Thank you for joining us. Our co-anchor Stephen Albritton is kicking off our full day of eclipse coverage this morning. He is live at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway where NASA will be observing the phenomenon right alongside of you. Stephen, you have a prime location. Yeah. Absolutely, I do a great spot for totality. NASA is here along with at least 50,000 other people who have bought tickets to come down to IMS. Those tickets are still available because we have about three and a half minutes of totality. We'll get more into that here in just a little bit. But what we are watching is what's happening in the skies. Randy Rico, you've been tracking this forecast for a couple of weeks. The day is here. We have the clouds, but there's a chance, at least in Cincinnati, there's a chance they might part just in time. I think they might thin a little bit. Yeah, I, I, actually looking at Steven's shot, they've got those searchlights going on around the speedway. It keeps looking like lightning lighting up the skies there. But we do have rain showers here in Cincinnati. So those come with some clouds and then there's additional rain on the way back in. So there's kind of a little window where we'll be between systems. Whether or not that times out for us, we'll have to wait and see. But as we take a look at what's going on here on the radar this morning, rain showers rolling through northern Kentucky. Looks like a light shower right now over top of Fort Thomas or Highland Heights. Sliding a little further south, you can see light rain showers passing out of Owenton and now into portions of Grant County. So south of the 71-75 split, we have some spotty showers. It looks like some light rain in portions of Campbell County that's drifting in the direction of New Richmond. So this morning uh, we are dealing with rain showers. It's 6 o'clock though, and I think by the time we get to 8 a.m., the rain is gone, but the clouds are definitely going to be more stubborn for us. So the outlook today, as far as the rain threat goes, Scattered rain in the early morning, but gone by about 8 a.m. And then potential for a few more scattered showers in the evening. So kind of bookends of rain, which means as far as cloud cover goes, clouds may thin, but it doesn't look like we get nice clearing today. Expect uh, those clouds to thin temperatures topping out this afternoon near 70 degrees. And I don't think the traffic is going to thin till late, late tonight. Ugh. Let's get over to Katie Donna with the latest projections on that. Yeah, could be a nightmare today. Uh, I think especially so on 75. ODOT predicting this is likely going to be one of our busiest highways in the greater Cincinnati area. It connects you to 74. It takes you up north to Dayton, all in the path of totality. So uh, right now, looking at our usual volume, volume of traffic here at Clifton Avenue. This is going to be a breakdown, but we've already seen some slow spots this morning. Notice some slower traffic around the airport. 74 was a little bit slow at times. Right now, for the most part, uh, pretty normal driving conditions, but you'll certainly want to plan ahead today. I mean, this drive could take hours for some, leaving totality today on some of our highways, so plan plenty of extra time to get where you're going. Um, and we've been talking about it all morning. You want to pack the car with snacks, your emergency supplies in case you get stuck somewhere. You need the full tank of gas. You do not want to be stuck on the highway with the tank uh, running low. And then um, good reminder to ODOT signs. I'll say it this morning. No parking on the shoulders. No parking on the ramps to watch that eclipse. You're going to have to again leave time to get where you're going. Park that car. Get out watch and then head on home. It's just going to be a busy day today. Uh, you know, so if you don't have eclipse plans, even just coming home from work, I think I think that's the biggest thing to remember here. Totality uh, ending as more commuters getting on the road uh, with the evening rush hour. So it just could be, uh, you know, just kind of coming from both ends this morning. Uh, we'll keep you updated as how that changes throughout the day right now. I'll send things back over to Tiffany and Kelly. All right, Katie, thank you. Yes, the countdown is on. In less than 10 hours, a total solar eclipse will move across much of the United States, including right here over parts of Greater Cincinnati. And while most of our area will see the partial eclipse, there are some areas that will see totality. And it really can come down to which side of the street you're on if you see totality or not. So we're leading the way with team coverage for you. All of the hot spots all the way to Indianapolis. And that's where we find our co-anchor Stephen Albritton breaking down where you can get the best view and timing and location. Really everything here, Stephen. Yes, Kelly, we have a great opportunity to get in the car and get into totality because you're really not far away from it no matter where you are. I drove a couple hours out here to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway where the NASA is here having a big event for that and because they're going to get three and a half minutes of totality to my northeast, Muncie, Indiana, also getting about three and a half minutes to my southwest, Bloomington, Indiana. They're going to get 
four minutes of totality of that darkness. It's gonna be an amazing experience for them. Now, the further away from that center line, as you can imagine, that's when the time starts to drop for how much totality you're going to get. Dayton, that's less, it's two and a half minutes there. Closer to greater Cincinnati, where miles mean a very big change in minutes, even down to the seconds, Oxford, two and a half minutes. Trenton, about two even. Hamilton, a minute and a half. Fairfield, you're gonna get 30 seconds of totality, but it's 30 seconds that are going to be worth it. Randy's been talking about, might still have some clouds. The temperature is still gonna drop. It's still going to get dark. It's still going to be a fantastic experience, even if you only get 30 seconds to a minute of totality. We have a full interactive map up on WLWT.com where you can plot out where you wanna go, what park you wanna go head to. Please do go and enjoy that experience. Now, no matter where you go, plan ahead to go and view it. Some crews have actually gotten stuck before in some major traffic delays, so be sure to pack those snacks. Uh, Katie Donovan was talking about that, a very important thing to do. And our officials are expecting those similar issues throughout the day, traffic jams, so be ready for that. Our Daniel Dendak, he has the advice from ex experts on what you should do to avoid any issues. Danielle. Yes, good morning, Steve, and I can tell you we're getting this party started out here in the city of Hamilton this morning, so we're at Markham Park. So come 312 this afternoon, it'll be totally dark for about a minute and a half. So like you mentioned, I had the chance to talk to a professional photographer who was back at that last eclipse back in 2017, and he really said, before you head out the door today, you really want to make sure you're packed and you have all the important things, and this is what he said to keep in mind before you leave. We'll have all this gear there, but on top of that, we'll probably take, um, you know, extra water, um, food, uh, snacks for the day, snacks for afterwards, because we don't know how traffic is going to be afterwards. It could be very long, so be prepared to be in the car, uh, depending on where you are, where you are and how close you are. What um, was it like for you in 2017? So in 2017, we went down to Hopkinsville. It only took us about three hours to get there from where we were, two and a half from Louisville, but to get back, it took us about 12. So. Uh, you need to be prepared for, for, for that if you're driving any kind of distance. Yes, you heard that right. It took him an extra nine hours because of traffic after the last eclipse. So that's why we're saying make sure you're preparing because there's so many things that can happen when you might have to spend an extra nine hours in the car that you weren't really planning for. So I also talked to him about different ways to keep things interesting for the kids and different safety things, especially when it comes to these glasses. Listen to what he said for that advice. I really emphasize how to use the glasses. And instead of putting them on when you look up, I always emphasize to the kids, um, you put them down like this, and then you look up, and then you go back down, and then you take them off. And then that way, they're always keeping away from the sun. Um, I wouldn't say I scared my kids, but I let them know that uh, you, know, you could go blind. Yeah, so do not play um, play around when it comes to your eyes today, whether it's for you or your kids or anyone that you know and love that's going to take part in the eclipse today. So another big thing is the weather. So as Randy has been tracking it today, I even had a chance to ask Anthony, you know, what, how far is he going to travel? Was he willing to travel? And he said he mapped out where he was going to go about 24 hours in advance. He said he was willing to travel up to 15 hours to get that perfect shot today. So he now is probably on the road going to where he wants to go to get that shot. And of course, we'll continue to check in with him throughout the rest of the day. And he actually has some more advice coming up within the next half hour. But for now, I'll send it back to you guys. All right, Danielle, thanks so much. Some very great tips to be safe as the total solar eclipse begins, hits totality, and then starts to end. It's really, it's a four hour event, so be prepared for it. And WLWT is gonna have you covered all day long. We have live team coverage starting at two o'clock, and then we'll be back on the air from three until 3.30 solid. We're taking you through totality. We're taking you through multiple different towns that are experiencing it. I'm gonna be speaking with a heliophysicist this afternoon, talking about all things sun right here from IMS. You just heard the, uh, cleaner for the track here uh, right now because they're going to be having a race car on track doing some hot laps for all the thousands of people who are going to be in attendance here for the total solar eclipse. It's going to be an event. Please, if you can, get in a car, go find a spot, get some glasses, look up and enjoy this moment as one as we all see the moon come in front of the sun and cast that shadow across our area.